Today we're doing Lesson 107 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 107. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. What can correct illusions but the truth? And what are errors but illusions that remain unrecognized for what they are? Where truth has entered, errors disappear. They merely vanish, leaving not a trace by which to be remembered. They are gone because, without belief, they have no life. And so they disappear to nothingness, returning whence they came. From dust to dust, they come and go, for only truth remains. Can you imagine what a state of mind without illusions is? How would it feel? Try to remember when there was a time, perhaps a minute, maybe even less, when nothing came to interrupt your peace, when you were certain you were loved and safe. Then try to picture what it would be like to have that moment be extended to the end of time and to eternity. Then, let the sense of quiet that you felt be multiplied a hundred times and then be multiplied another hundred more. And now you have a hint. <laughs> Not more than just the faintest intimation of the state your mind will rest in when the truth has come. Without illusions, there could be no fear, no doubt, and no attack. When truth has come, all pain is over, for there is no room for transitory thoughts and dead ideas to linger in your mind. Truth occupies your mind completely, liberating you from all beliefs in the ephemeral. They have no place because the truth has come, and they are nowhere. They cannot be found, for truth is everywhere forever, now. When truth has come, it does not stay a while to disappear or change to something else. It does not shift and alter in its form, nor come and go and go and come again. It stays exactly as it always was, to be depended on in every need, and trusted with a perfect trust in all the seeming difficulties and the doubts that the appearances the world presents engender. They will merely blow away when truth corrects the errors in your mind. When truth has come, it harbors in its wings the gift of perfect constancy and love which does not falter in the face of pain, but looks beyond it steadily and sure. Here is the gift of healing, for the truth needs no defense and therefore no attack is possible. Illusions can be brought to truth to be corrected, but the truth stands far beyond illusions and cannot be brought to them to turn them into truth. Truth does not come and go nor shift nor change in this appearance now and then in that evading capture and escaping grasp, it does not hide. It stands in open light, in obvious accessibility. It is impossible that anyone could seek it truly and would not succeed. Today belongs to truth. Give truth its due, and it will give you yours. You were not meant to suffer and to die. Your father wills these dreams be gone. Let truth correct them all. We do not ask for what we do not have. We merely ask for what belongs to us that we may recognize it as our own. Today we practice on the happy note of certainty that has been born of truth. The shaky and unsteady footsteps of illusion are not our approach today. We are as certain of success 
as we are sure we live and hope and breathe and think. We do not doubt we walk with truth today and count on it to enter into all the exercises that we do this day. Begin by asking him who goes with you upon this undertaking that he be in your awareness as you go with him. You are not made of flesh and blood and bone, but were created by the self-same thought which gave the gift of life to him as well. He is your brother, and so like to you, your father knows that you are both the same. It is yourself you ask to go with you, and how could he be absent where you are? Truth will correct all errors in your mind which tell you you could be apart from him. You speak to him today and make your pledge to let his function be fulfilled through you. To share his function is to share his joy. His confidence is with you as you say, truth will correct all errors in my mind and I will rest in him who is myself. Then let him lead you gently to the truth, which will envelop you and give you peace so deep and tranquil that you will return to the familiar world reluctantly. And yet you will be glad to look again upon this world, for you will bring with you the promise of the changes which the truth that goes with you will carry to the world. They will increase with every gift you give of five small minutes. And the errors that surround the world will be corrected as you let them be corrected in your mind. Do not forget your function for today. Each time you tell yourself with confidence, truth will correct all errors in my mind. You speak for all the world and him who would release the world as he would set you free. That's lesson 107. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.